Okay, this is a, uh, a persistence of vision uh, clock made out of uh, internal hard drive. I'll just kind of explain uh, how, how it works. Uh, this is for a microcontrollers uh, class, a project that I did when I was in college at uh, Kansas State University. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, here's your standard internal hard drive. Uh, just tore it apart and cut a slit with a cutoff wheel from the outside to the center of the disc. Um, underneath the disc, you'd see some LEDs uh, mounted in a circle that point towards the center. Um, and then I painted the background all white in there so it reflects real good. There's like 15 chips on there. Each chip has red, green, and blue LEDs. The wires come out here and then connect to the microcontroller. Then we got a <clears throat> optical sensor right here, so each time the slit comes around, it detects an on-off signal. And there's a uh, and the wiring or whatever for that uh, that needs this potentiometer here, so you, it limits the current that's going to the optical sensor. And then um, you got your standard connector here. I'm using a standard computer power supply to power this for the time being. And um, so you need 12 volts to power the disk when you plug the hard drive in to power the, the motor. And then you got your 5 volts also coming from the connector. Um, and I'm using that to run the power for the microcontroller chip and the uh, optical sensor. And so I had to have a voltage regulator because the chip only, the microcontroller chip uh, can only have like three volts to it, so that's what that's for. Um, the microcontroller I'm using is a Freescale. It looks like this, a little IC chip. I don't think you can read the numbers on it. I'll read it for you. It's M9SO8QG8 is the microcontroller. Um, so anyway, the rest of the circuitry, there's your microcontroller you got right there. Then the voltage regulator. You got three um, transistors right here. And those are for red, green, and blue to uh, switch on and off the LEDs at a high rate. And then uh, you got switches there, your buttons, sorry, for... Uh, adjusting the time and and the modes that you're in for eventually this is a work in progress all it does now is keep time you can adjust the time to whatever and then each hour I'm gonna have it set to where it will display a cool pattern and I haven't programmed the patterns yet um, as of now I just have you know just the colors red green and blue that come on and flash will flash on for a certain amount of time and then, you know, for like a minute and then turn off. Um, I'm using Code Warrior for the, for the uh, software. And I'm programming in assembly language. You can also do it in C, but this is what we started in. So I just kept it that way. So uh, next video, I'll boot it up and you can watch what it does so far.